Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Jeff Gustin here, General Manager of Inmoxicated in Racine, Wisconsin. Jeff, thanks for jumping on with me. Well, thank you for having me. So it's my pleasure. Behind you, you have a sign that says So Bar. I am really, really curious to learn all about your business, Inmoxicated, what So Bar means. Would you mind us talking about Inmoxicated today? Absolutely. All right, here we go. When people ask you what Inmoxicated does, how do you describe the business? Inmoxicated is a bar. It is everything you would expect in a bar, except alcohol. Oh, wow. Tell me a little bit more about that. Like if you walk into Inmoxicated, I mean, alcohol is such a big part of every bar. Like what, what, what is the experience that you're going to have? So you're going to have the same experience you're going to have in any other bar in Wisconsin, but you're not going to be under the influence of alcohol and you're not going to be encountering people that are under the influence of alcohol. Um, people stop drinking for various reasons. Why do they have to stop their nightlife? Why do they have to stop socialization? They can come here, have that nightlife back, have that socialization back in a sober setting with adult drinks. Super cool. You know, and I think about like all of the reasons you don't want to drink. You don't want to feel like crap. You don't want to deal with that totally violent person that's next to you. But it's nice to get out of the house and to be able to sit somewhere where your your dryer's not beeping or, you know, the dishwasher needs to be emptied. And you just want to be able to focus on that person you're with and have a good conversation or a good time. And so you offer that. So tell me, so you've got the bar, you've got alcohol-free beverages. Do you have like pool? Do you have music? Tell me a little bit more about uh, what's going on there. Right. So I was born and raised in a Wisconsin bar. Wow. In or by my standards, in order to be a bar, you have to have a pool table. You have to have a dartboard. You have to have a jukebox. Uh, it is a, it's a Wisconsin dive bar. So yes, we have all of that. We do live music. We have karaoke nights. We do comedy shows. We, you know, everything you would expect. Um, we've even had people walk in sit at the bar and not realize it was a sober bar until they really started looking around at some of the signage and things like that. Sure. And and it wasn't loud and obnoxious in some ways like you get when you get some of the people that had way too much to drink, right? Uh, oh my goodness. We also we don't let people in if we know they've been drinking. That's not the atmosphere we want. We, that's not the atmosphere our customers come here to be in. So it's a sober environment as well as a sober. It was so cool. So what were your plans when the business was started and how have they changed? It started because there's nothing else like this around. We wanted a place to go. And if we didn't have a place to go, we knew there was others that didn't have a place to go. There's so many products out there and there's products coming out every day. And I like to refer to these as adult alcohol-free beverages. But if you don't have a place that you can go try them, yeah. you got to order them by the case. If you don't like them when they get there, you're stuck with them. And we also wanted to create that environment where people could get back to socializing with other people. So important to be able to socialize and so important to have options like this in the state of Wisconsin. Again, we are just known for our, our beer and how much we can drink and not everybody wants to be known for that. Right. So. Right. Especially as we get older. Absolutely. Yeah. We want to feel good when we wake up. Right. Um, our, our, our bones don't want it. Our body doesn't want all that. So, so this is a no brainer, but I'd love to talk about it a little bit. What is the biggest way you impact the community? So people that can't go to bars because they have to stay away from alcohol or they don't want to deal with people under the influence of alcohol, we're giving them back a social environment that they can go to and not have to worry about those things. They can go back out, see live music, shoot pool again, meet up with friends in a social setting without alcohol. There's no chance they're going to run into it. 
That is so cool. And just creating that safe environment for the community is so important. So thank you for that. So what is one challenge that you have faced that other business owners could learn from? You guys just opened in December of 2021 during the pandemic when alcohol sales were rising 300% and some people were beginning to stop drinking because alcohol what consumption was going up so much. What What is a challenge that you have faced during that really interesting time of opening your business to now? Our biggest challenge is getting people to understand what we are. Okay. Um, there's a lot of different places out there that advertise themselves as an alcohol-free bar and nothing against what they're doing. But born and raised in a bar, you have to have certain things to be considered a bar. Most of them are coffee shops that have a couple of mocktails or things like that. It's hard for us to get the word out until we can get people in our doors. We are a bar. Everything you would expect to walk into a bar, except the alcohol. And that's been our biggest, biggest challenge. Once we get people in the door, they get it, they understand, and they fall in love with it. Absolutely. So cool. It sounds like... It sounds like there could be a bright future here for you. My next question, Jeff, is what does the future look like to you? And do you and Shannon have an exit plan? I mean, I'm right now I'm thinking, okay, you're in Racine, Wisconsin. But if somebody up in Eagle River wants something like this, they got to drive a long ways. What does the future look like? So even since we've opened in that short time, we've put on a mobile unit. Um, we have a beverage trailer. We go to as many events as we can, and we serve our drinks uh, on the road. Um, it also helps promote our brick and mortar. It gets people in the door, but it's showing people that there's options like this out there. Yes. Um, our future is up. That's where we're going. Um, we're obviously, one day, we would love to expand. We would love to even possibly franchise. We've had a lot of people call and ask us about that already. Uh, we're just, we're not there yet. We're still yeah. brand new. Yeah. But uh, that that's our goal is to just keep growing and bring these options to as many people as we can. And for an exit plan, that that is my exit plan to grow. I love that. You know, um, I was thinking about this too, this cool mobile unit idea. You know, like people can drive away after they're done too. Like when we think about mobile, you know, you there's yeah. drive through liquor stores and it's like, how does that make sense? But at the <laughs> end of this, of this, this mobile experience, they're going to be able to go home safe as well. So I just, it just, what a cool, cool concept. Thank you so, so much for doing that. We sell anyway, drinks to go. What's that? You know, we sell drinks to go. And that is such a weird concept, even myself. I will have a drink and I will hurry up to finish it to leave because your mindset is you have to finish that before you can go. Yes. But no, I don't. I can drink mine on the way home. <laughs> that That is so cool. Thank you. I love that. And I love the exit plan to continue to grow. What a great, what a great plan to continue this legacy on. So my final question for you today, Jeff, all subjects open. What inspires you most? Our customers. Um, I. I've seen uh, people so grateful to have that socialization back. I've seen people tear up at our bar because she thought she was never going to taste red wine again. I've seen old friends reconnect. You know, the sober people quit going out. And I, we get thanked every time we're out. People thank us daily here when we're in our mobile unit. Thanks for providing us. That's that's enough motivation right there to show that this is wanted and needed. Absolutely. It's so inspiring. Jeff, I can't thank you enough for doing this interview, for doing this for our community, the world. If somebody wants to get in touch with you to find the where you're going to be on that mobile unit or come to your brick and mortar and we're seen, what's the best way for them to get more information about Inmoxicated? So you can go to our website, that's inmoxicated.com. Uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we use face, we use social media all, all around really a lot. That's the best way to get the words up. Or you can shoot us an email at inmoxicated at gmail. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. And when do those leagues start? Do they start in the fall if anybody wants to get into a league? Yeah, we're going to start them back up probably around October. Summer's too busy. So. Totally. I love it. Jeff, best of luck. I know you're going to grow. You're doing great things in this world. Thank you so much today. Well, thank you. Take care.